welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little different from the normal. Uh, working on cars, cut that off. Working on cars and hanging with the boys. I just wanted to, to today to make today a video where we uh, do a little update for the channel. Um, I just want to start off by saying there's a lot of puddles. I just want to start off by saying I really appreciate the support from the from the go. I mean. I mean, we're only at 60 subscribers at this point in time, but it's like, I wasn't even expecting that much to begin. So I give a big shout out to all you guys that support consistently, the ones that send me screenshots of your post notifications for when I post on YouTube and all of this, this is the support. Our last video is almost at 400 views in three weeks. Uh, it's, it's just insane to me and it's surreal and I couldn't do it without you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to make today a, a channel update video. We're not getting into much. I'm gonna probably head over to my boy Kiwan's house. He's gonna be grilling up some food. So head over there and chill. I'll give you guys some more info once we get there. So we're at Ke I've been at Kiwan spot for a minute now. I've probably been here like two or three hours. Got here, ate immediately. So just me, Brian, and Kiwan and some other friends. We just chilled. And I didn't really do as much recording as I was expecting to. But I mean, that's what happens when you're with the boys, right, Kiki? But yeah, right now it's just me, Kiwan, and Brian over there with the truck. I haven't seen Kiwan since like the second video. Brian's on the phone. Are they the phone company? Hey, what, what flavor them cupcakes is? Uh, uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Kiwan since maybe, what, the second video? I think, yeah, the second video. He had the gray Lexus at that point. But now, look at this here. My and I hope the love. camera does this justice. He decided to go back and rebuild his Accord. What year is it? Uh, 2006. 2006 Accord on uh, XXR what? 550s, XXRs, flat black, 550. And I hope the camera does these justice, but that poke yeah. is insane. And then we got the baby over there. The baby, baby boat. And check out the new sticker. Shout out to you, never content. Clean. We've been chilling today. But yeah, guys, I mean, like I said, today's video is going to be a little different. Um, just wanted to update you guys to keep you posted on what was going on and what's going to continue to go on for the channel. Um, and once again, I mean, I can't say it enough. And I know I've said it a million and one times in this video, but I, it, the support, I really appreciate it to everyone. The, the comments, the, the likes, the subscribes. Just stay tuned. This 2018 is going to be a big year for us. Be a big year for all the boys, all the cars. and Keep you posted. So I lied yesterday. That was not the end of the video. <laughs> uh, we actually had a car meet today that I planned on going to and actually forgot about until this morning. So I'm actually on my way right now to go pick up Kyle. And then we're gonna head over to this car meet, get some footage for you guys and see how that goes. Probably not gonna stay too long, but yeah, we'll see you there. What's good, how? I missed my car. You wanna update the people on what's so, up? Uh, car pissed out on me. Uh, time and chain expand. <laughs> Had to replace the parts for that. I ordered a lockout tune for it, so it locks out all the problems that I'm having. Or uh, it reads to the computer that nothing's going on with it, pretty much. And it's gonna add another 250 horsepower to it. Um, my car's been in the shop for too damn long. <laughs> Should have it back Monday. It, it picks up great cup. I rode it Friday. We tuned it for 175. It's like, you know, we can get it to two, uh, an extra 250. So I'm like, I'll hop on the stock three. It's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be a whole drag car. Amateur, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not 13, 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just amateur. I've been making in the fives. At least, no, like, like, late fours, at least that. So, we'll be money. Ooh. Selling juice. I like juice. Welcome to the dad the Lord has made. <laughs> 
right, so we just pulled up to the meet. Get some footage for you guys. It's pretty light out here right now, but gotta cry. Got some cars still rolling in, but go walk around and show you what we got. Or Demetrius with us. It's a nice little turnout. Yeah. Hey guys, so that's going about to do it. A nice little turnout. Miscellaneous garage hosted. It was a nice little turnout. It was a nice little chill meet, but that's going to do it for today's video. We will see y'all in the next one. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, so I lied again. <laughs> that wasn't the end of the video. Um, it was going to be, but when I was going to edit the video, I noticed that the footage that I made to give you guys an update on the cobalt had actually corrupted, so I couldn't use it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I have to redo the walk around for the car. But um, if any of you guys didn't know, I actually just lowered the, the cobalt on coilovers from Raceland. They're going to be the Raceland Ultimos that drop the car anywhere between 2 and 4 inches. They are adjustable. Um, that was our previous video if you haven't seen it go ahead and jump back and take a look at it get caught up they dropped the car anywhere between two and four inches they are adjustable um, i have messed around with them since purchasing them was maybe a month ago now and uh that's what the fronts and the rears the rears are going to be maxed out the fronts still have a tad bit of tread left um, but go ahead and show you the car all right so as you can see the cobalt is a lot lower than she was when she was stopped Pretty tight fit. I don't know if the camera will pick up on it, but it's a pretty tight fit. Can't even get a finger in there. The rears are maxed. They're going to be as low as they can possibly go. I'm kind of disappointed because that wheel gap is still. I, I don't care for it, but I wish, I'm planning on getting rims soon anyway, so that'll eliminate that. This is her now. I've heard a lot of things about Raceline. A lot of trash talk that they're garbage, but honestly, they're doing right that bad for what you pay for. I do have the Ultimo, so I can't speak for the base line of the uh, the ones that drop two to three. Well, I think it's two inches maybe or something like that, but they're not that bad, honestly. I think they get a bad rap, but but that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching and, and subscribing, and the support means a lot, so just keep it up, and there's a lot more things to come, so stay tuned.